Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about text functions that can help us clean up our data. So for example here, I have names under column A and I want to sort of like clean them up because they don't look nice. They have different cases. Some of them have extra spaces between the first name and the last name. So I want it to be um, formatted better. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to remove the spaces, okay, the extra spaces between the names. So for that, I would need to create another column. And then I would need to use the trim function. So this function removes any unnecessary spaces at the beginning, at the end, or trailing spaces, or in the middle. However, if it's a space in the middle, it will retain at least one. It sort of like understands that a space between words is essential because that's how words are, are written. You have to put a space between them. So that's the trim function, removes unnecessary spaces. It's a very specific job. Now our next functions, okay, we have to format the names into different cases. So we have one that will uh, make it all caps, and then one that will make it all lowercase, and one that will make it all uh, proper case or capitalize the first letter. So for the all caps version, that's going to be the upper function. So upper's job is to format the values of the cell that you will give it such that it will become all capital letters. So now we have this all caps version. And we also have the function that can do the opposite. So in that case, that would be the lower function. So lower and then open parentheses. Then we get the cell B2 and then close. So these are mirror functions. They do the opposite of the uh, other. And finally, we also have this uh, column here that we want to capitalize the first letter of each word. So for this one, it's going to be proper. And now it's asking us where's the text that we have to capitalize. So it's going to be cell B2. And that's it. We now formatted the values from column A in different ways. So we first remove the space. And then you can now decide whether you want an uppercase version, a lowercase version, or a proper case version. Take note, you can combine the two functions like this one, trim and upper, so that you do not get or you do not create an extra column like this. So here's what we're going to do. We're also going to demonstrate how to do them in a combined way, like no need for extra column. So let me reset our data. Let me remove this first. And then we're going to uh, create a formula for each of them. So we're going to do upper, open parentheses, and then I want to trim the value that it will convert into uppercase so trim of a2 and then close so instead of having just the cell we are going to trim first okay so what happens here is that it's the first this is the first task it will remove the space and then it will convert it to uppercase so the order is the inner function will sort of like process first and then followed by the up, uh, outer function so for the other cells, that's also how it's going to work. So we're going to put lower and then trim. And then we get the cell A2 and then close. So we put, we're putting here two close parentheses because we have two functions that we have to close. And we're also going to do it with proper. However, let me show you that we can also do it the other way around. It's also possible that we do the proper first in order to combine or uh, convert, I mean, the value of cell A2 into proper case. And then we are going to put in trim in order to remove the space. So some 
combination of functions, you can actually sort of like put the other function inside the other function. But take note that this is not true in many cases in Excel or Google Sheets. It really depends on what these functions are doing. So trim and proper, they will just have one cell uh, inside. So it's possible that you can use the trim first and then proper or the other way around. But it's not always the case in other formulas. And that's it for today's uh, video. I will see you next time.